Glory to Jesus Christ. Hello, my brothers. Hello, my sisters in Christ. Welcome. Welcome back to my channel. I hope all is well with you and the Lord. Praise God. So people of God, today's word is based upon a vision that I had recently about my neighbor and his vicious, mean dog. Okay. And this vision revealed a warning that concerns a monitoring spirit that is connected to many of you in some way, but you may not have been fully aware of his deception in your life. But before I release the word of the Lord today, people of God, you all know my stance. Don't come to me, go to God. Why? Because I am just the messenger, y'all. I'm just a vessel, okay, that the Lord uses to speak what is on his heart. And at the end of the day, it's your responsibility to go to God for yourself because he is the only one that is going to have the answers that you seek. Amen. And remember, the Bible teaches us to test the spirit in 1 John chapter 4. 2 Timothy encourages us to study to show ourselves approved. Why? Because when we study the Holy Scriptures, we learn, we gain understanding, we get wisdom. God heightens our discernment and we get to take those tools that we've retrieved from the Holy Scriptures and weigh it against a prophetic message, weigh it against whatever someone is speaking to you in that moment in time. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Amen. So people of God, around about October the 10th or the 11th, I had a vision of being attacked by my neighbor's vicious little dog. So how it happened, I was taking a walk in my neighborhood in the vision, which by the way, is something that I just recently started doing again because the Lord has been encouraging me to get some exercise. In the vision, it was a sunny day and I was at the tail end of my walk where it appeared that I was walking down the street of where my house was. I was almost at the front porch of my house and I saw myself walking past my neighbor, okay? And when I walked past my neighbor, he had his small dog and the dog was like on this little red leash. And so I waved to him and I said, how you doing? And he said, I'm doing good. And it was just a really nice conversation like I normally do. I've done it in the past so many times, not thinking anything of it, right? And then suddenly I heard a dog barking behind me. I heard the dog running towards me. And so I turned around and I witnessed the dog running towards me in a rage. The dog was mad. The dog was angry, okay? The dog was acting in a very vicious way. And I remember brothers and sisters thinking to myself, wow, this is really strange because I just walked past the dog and my neighbor and they were just standing in their yard. They were quiet. Um, the, my neighbor was very friendly. The dog looked like he was kind of scrolling around in the grass. They seemed very calm, both of them. But as soon as I turned my back to keep walking towards my house, the dog came charging at me. Okay. And people of God, while the dog was running towards me, there was another vision that popped up within the vision. And so in this second vision, I saw my neighbor, literally, it was like a picture of him. I saw him purposely take his dog off the leech. He rolled it up and put it in his pocket and he turned his back to the dog while the dog began to run towards me. And when that happened, that second vision that popped up disappeared. But then after that, I was able to take another look at the dog running towards me. And by the way, the dog didn't bite me or anything like that, but I was able to see the dog just continuously running towards me. And then suddenly I came out of that vision as well. My God, my God, brothers and sisters, after coming out of this vision, my spirit immediately perceived the meaning of the vision. And I'm learning that when this happens, people of God, 90% of the time, this usually indicates that first of all, the vision was a warning and there was a sense of urgency attached to it, meaning that the vision was set to come to pass quickly if I didn't do anything about it or if I didn't pray or if I didn't take heed to it. Okay, if that makes sense. And then secondly, 
This was a vision that was not only applicable to me, people of God, but the Lord spoke to me and said that this vision is also relevant to my brothers and my sisters in Christ. And it's the reason why I'm sharing it with you today. People of God, from the very beginning of this vision, two of the biggest things that stood out to me was first of all, this was my neighbor who I saw as being harmless. I saw him as being quiet. He stayed to himself. He's an elderly man. He's someone that I've communicated with. And then the second thing that really struck me by surprise was when he waited until after I turned my back and he secretly unleashed his dog to attack me. Okay. So I continued to ponder on these key points until the Lord revealed to me why this happened. So brothers and sisters, with that being stated, do you remember the word I recently released on this channel about a month ago? And the title of that video was access still denied. And in that word, the Lord said that not all people are out to help you. Not all people like you as they portray to, but some are on assignment. Listen, people of God by the devil to distract you. Some are on assignment to take you off course and some are on assignment to help you fall out of the will of God. This is one of the reasons why monitoring spirits have been successful with accessing some of your lives because a person that carries this monitoring spirit, they often look like people that want to help you, but in actuality, they want to harm you in some way, whether it be spiritually or physically or both. And another reason is that Satan just simply hates your light. And so the vessels that Satan uses to monitor you, well, their demons are irritated by your light. And as a result, they secretly plot and plan ways to monitor you and to monitor your progress before they attempt, listen, people of God to attack you. Okay. Brothers and sisters, monitoring spirits are wicked entities that operate in the supernatural realm and they can take the form of a person, an animal or an object or something else. But I need to highlight that for today's warning that we are only focusing on human beings. So when a person carries a monitoring spirit, their main objective is to gather certain information or weaknesses about you. They take notes on how you do things. They surveillance your whereabouts. They observe who you associate yourself with. And then once they gather certain information about you, they report it back to the kingdom of darkness or whoever the leader is that is functioning from the kingdom of darkness for the purpose of making you look bad or to sabotage your character or to try and dismantle your confidence or to try and destroy your life your business, destroy your ministry or whatever God has given you that appears to this adversary as being something good or whatever it is that you have that this adversary wants from you. Okay. Monitoring spirits are very real brothers and sisters. And there are a couple of accounts of this in the word of God with one being in Job chapter one, verse seven. So if you have your Bibles come with me there so we can read the scripture to get an example of what a monitoring spirit stems from what it looks like. Okay. Job chapter one, verse seven, people of God, it says, and the Lord said unto Satan, whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down it. Now we just read in scripture that Satan comes along and the Lord asked Satan about his whereabouts. And then Satan tells God that he's been prowling to and fro or from place to place or up and down as the scripture says, right? You can see that this proves that there are spiritual beings. In this case, it's Satan himself that monitors our lives. Now let me say this people of God. The Lord is not speaking this word to instill fear or to make you feel like you have to be suspicious and watch your back every second of the day. No people of God, that is not what the Lord is saying. But what God wants his children to understand is they must be vigilant and not ignorant to the schemes of the enemy. Okay. The Bible says in first Peter chapter five, verse eight, and I'm just paraphrasing. It says to be alert, to be sober minded because our enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. And so because of this biblical truth, people of God, you as a child of God need
need to be able to discern. Listen, people of God, you need to be able to discern when a monitoring spirit or any other wicked spirit is in operation in your life and then be able to dismantle it once you recognize its presence in your life. Why? Because the Bible says that our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers that come from the kingdom of darkness. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I need for you to listen very carefully. Okay. This is what God is saying. He says, if you have been experiencing unexplained failures in your pursuits or you're seeing your ideas being performed or taken by somebody that you know or have spoken to, or if you're seeing your personal information, such as your pictures, your content, your writings, your name, your ministry name, your plans, your blueprints, or anything you have created in somebody else's possession without your permission, or if you just simply have a notion in your spirit spirit inside of you that someone you entrusted or someone you befriended has been stealing from you or repeating what you said to them. Or if you notice that somebody like your neighbor or your coworker is watching your every move in, in this sort of eerily way, this strange way, I hear God saying to shut it down immediately. Shut it down immediately. Why? Because it is a monitoring spirit says the spirit of the Lord. People of God, the Lord says that he has given you the power and authority in his name to speak to all wicked spirits and cast them down for destruction in Jesus name. So if you are one that has been experiencing what I just shared with you today, brother or sister, and this monitoring spirit continues to drain you of your sanity, drain you of your peace or your possessions, I want to invite you to the altar for a short prayer today. As we come into agreement against this monitoring spirit, because Jesus said, whatever you bind in the earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose in the earth shall be loosed in heaven. And if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my father in heaven. So people of God, put your hands up. It's time to pray. Say, Lord Jesus. I bind all monitoring spirits and all other principalities and powers in the air that are operating over me, against me and around me and within my life in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, let the lifeline of the monitoring spirits that have connected themselves to my life, connected themselves to my business, connected themselves to my ministry or my family be utterly destroyed by the power and authority you have given me in Jesus name. Say, Lord, let every wicked power, every monitoring spirit that has been using the heavenlies, have been using mirrors, have been using crystal balls, household items and computer screens Lord, let these wicked avenues be destroyed. Let these entities be disgraced and drop dead in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, let every altar that has been speaking against my divine purpose, speaking against my family, speaking against my finances, speaking against my relationships, stealing my ideas, stealing my plans, speaking against my business, trying to sabotage my name, trying to destroy anything, Lord God, that you have given me to keep. Lord, let them be dismantled and totally dissipated. Let them be decapitated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And say, Father, I thank you that after I pray this prayer, that you will honor your word when you said, shut down the monitoring spirit immediately in the spirit, exercise my authority in Christ Jesus. And Lord, I pray that you will watch over your word in my life to perform it because you are God almighty. You are faithful and you are not a man that you shall lie in Jesus name. Say, Lord, 
I decree and declare your protection over me in mine. And I pray that you will seal this prayer with your power, with your sovereignty, with your authority in the earth. In Jesus mighty name, say, Father, I give you all glory. I give you honor and I give you praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. People of God, I speak tremendous blessings over your life and I decree and declare that God will never leave you nor forsake you and that he will be with you for all the rest of your days. In Jesus' holy name, we are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus' holy name. Brothers and sisters, I'm getting ready to say it. I love you, I love you, I love you, and I mean it, okay? And I want you all to have a blessed, blessed day, okay? Bye.